another question I am often asked is, what is dehypnosis? So dehypnosis, if you look it up on or do a Google search, there's really not much up there on dehypnosis. And even though I'm trained as a clinical hypnotherapist, what I have found in my years of doing this work is that most of the time we actually have, have a hypnotic state that runs through because the hypnotic state has been put there by the stress or trauma that originally caused us to go into a hypnotic state. So the advantage of actually doing a dehypnosis is that we use today's mind and information to go back to a time to be able to undo something, to undo where there has been, whether it just even is residues or an actual, really like a, a PTS type of trauma. And this does not re-traumatize. It just simply allows you to have an objective point of view, being able to look at the scene with all the maturity and resources that you have available to you today. We are not the same people as when the original wounding first happened. And because of that, dehypnosis allows us to be able to say, wow, okay, what is this charge about? And if there is an emotional charge, an energy charge to something, then we look at what it is that that event has still been trying to teach. There's teaching and learning and growth and expansion in everything that we do. So this is really the opportunity to be able to dehypnotize ourselves and look at what's really going on.